So now let's solve for the 2 phi angle, or you might have seen this as 2 theta p, that we have to rotate in order to reach the principal planes. And what occurs at the principal planes? We know we have the maximum stresses, the major and minor principal stresses. So we have to rotate this 2 phi or 2 theta p angle. So in this example, we will denote it as 2 phi. So using the more circle drawn, the angle 2 phi between the original stress element and the principal planes is most nearly what? What is this angle we have to rotate from the original stress element, which is this line. This is the original conditions that we graphed, right? We have to rotate this angle here to reach this major plane, right? This new plane, and we call it the principal plane, where we have the major and minor principal stresses. We have to rotate this angle. So it's always two phi on the Mer circle. And we might recall on the stress element, which is the original element, it might be the rectangle, it's always going to be just phi, right? It's not two phi. On the more circles, two phi. On the stress element, it's just phi, right? So you cut that in half. Just always remember that. So we know we have to find two phi. And how we will do this is visually. So I'm going to try to do that visually just using the more circle. So we know here, first, the center is given. The center is 10, 0. So that's important. That's actually provided to us. So we know the origins here. This is the origin. This is the center of the Mohr circle. And I'm going to denote certain letters at certain points. So I'm going to denote this point here where the major principal stress acts as B. And where the minor acts is A. So this is A, where the minor is, where the major is, is B, the major principal stress. And I'm going to call this point D. C is obviously the center of the circle. So that's our point C. So A, B, C, D. I'm going to call this E. And what I'm going to do here is call this point F. So this is where we draw our triangle. And this is F. So I did that to specifically denote that we have to take the opposite over adjacent to find the angle 2 phi. Because we are looking at this angle, we do the opposite over the adjacent side. The opposite side is going to be DF, the adjacent side is CF. So we're going to say that tan of 2 angle phi equals the opposite O over adjacent. And we know the opposite is going to be this side, right? It's going to be DF. DF. The adjacent side is going to be this side. Adjacent to this angle that we're looking at is this side, right? So it's going to be CF. So what's the opposite side? What do we think is the opposite side? So this one is quite simple. It's just the Y, right? Because we're at this point. It's just the change in Y from F to D. So it's just going to be 15, right? So the opposite is going to be just 15, which is our DF. So we do 10 of 2 phi equals 15 for df, which is the opposite side. Now, what's the adjacent? We know the adjacent has to be the difference between the points here. So this will have a coordinate, and this will have a coordinate. So we have to take the change in x. So our x coordinate at f is going to be 40, and our x coordinate at c is 10. We do final x minus initial x. So we do the 40 minus 10 to determine that distance, which is CF. So we do 40 minus 10. So now we're solving for 2 phi. So we do the tan inverse. Tan inverse of, which essentially equals to 2 phi, which is what we want to find. We do the 15 over the 30. So now we can solve for 2 phi. And for that, we should get around 26.57 degrees. So this is how much we need to rotate on the more circle 
to get to the major to get to the principal planes right where our major and minor principal stresses act this angle here so always remember on the original coordinate system stress element it's half of this so we take that value so 26.57 divided by 2 so we would only rotate 13.29 degrees right but for this specific question since they tell us it's two phi we would pick what we just determined and it's going to be in this case c and i believe that's it thank you